So today is Saturday and it's a new day. This morning I was being lazy and just watched YouTube and relaxed. But now I'm going to start working on some watercolor paintings for the bamboo art project. It's already too hot to work outside, so I'll have to wait till the evening to do that. And I'm getting at the point where it's getting hard because I need to make decisions about the electrical and stuff. Um, otherwise, I won't know where things are gonna go. And I'm starting to question whether we need the dog crates and how much space we're gonna have. The thing about the van is that it is like a shorter wheelbase. It's almost two to one. So two times the, the, the length of the van is two times the width of the van. And I made this model out of styrofoam to get a sense of the space. So this is, I think, eight inches long and only four inches wide. So that's the, if I put it like this, this is the empty space in the van. This whole spot, the negative space, is where the bed's already going. So the bed takes up all of this space almost. So we have headroom and we have the bulk of the open space here in the front. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make it livable and also comfortable for the dogs. All right, first things first, I'm gonna put on some YouTube. I'm trying to get through the whole video history of Van Wives right now. I think I'm halfway done. There's such, um, Jazz is such a good editor, by the way. She's gotten really good over time. I'm assuming only Jazz does the edits. <laughs> I spent a lot of time today working on my watercolor art. It was really relaxing and meditative, and I just wanted something like that. I can't really decide on the interior space yet because I'm still thinking about the electrical and the dog crates. So it's about 3 p.m. and probably more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's the first time I'm getting outside because my dad had a construction worker here working on the house. So I've just been inside, but I came out to the van to look at it and think about it because I'm thinking about how I'm gonna start the installation. I used, uh, I think Jared Tochi's, to Jared, Jared Tochi, his uh, recommendations about the type of insulation to use as well as some other research and I bought a couple different types of materials in addition to the kill mat that's already up. So a certain type is going to go up here on the ceiling and then a different type on the walls. And yeah, I'm just thinking about storage solutions and what I need to do before I actually insulate. I think what may, might be a good idea is to do a little study about the temperature. like. The temperature, like seven day, like average of when it's not insulated and just sitting out here and maybe the temperature compare that to like when it's in the shade and after it's insulated and then just do some comparisons like even comparing different types of ACs and how cool it could keep it in here. But that's just an idea. I don't know how I would record that actually. But it might be a cool study. As I'm getting deeper into the details of the van build, I'm kind of losing sight of the whole purpose of everything. And it feels scary and confusing again. But I think I'm going to eventually have to choose between doing plug and play solutions or really hiring professionals to build it out professionally. Because as far as the electrical goes, I don't want to, I'm a bit intimidated about doing it myself. I don't want to mess anything up, especially with our plans to do trips in the desert. 
in the middle of nowhere in Texas. Bucky, Bucky. In the evening time, I was hanging out and looking at the van, but I didn't really get started. I was kind of just contemplating things. Then I realized I didn't really get different angles of the underside of the van. So I was looking at it, and I know that there's a lot of good empty workable space underneath the van and also under the hood. So I'm contemplating whether I can stick either like a gas generator or the battery packs under the van or even under the hood. I think that might be a viable option. So I didn't really build anything in the van today, but it was still a productive day. This is Audrey's favorite spot to hunt for deer. And this is the construction that got done today. New fancy steps.